It was a good old-fashioned shootout at the Dakota Dunes Golf Links last week on the Canadian Tour, where Canadian Matt Hill captured his first victory in a grueling four-hole playoff. Welcome to this week's edition of the Canadian Tour Report, where tomorrow's champions are today. Hi everyone, I'm John Swantek. The Canadian Tour was in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan last week for the Dakota Dunes Casino Open. Known as Canada's sunniest city, the Paris of the Prairies is a great place to experience fine dining, bustling nightlife, beautiful trails and outdoor spaces, as well as cultural institutions such as the Mendel Art Gallery, which houses one of the top collections of contemporary and historical art in the country. Sassoon is really an event-based tourism economy here, so we do a continual series of even overlapping events at this time of year for sure. If you're looking for jazz, if you're looking for blues festivals, if you're looking for NASCAR supported uh, racing events, uh, you know, all those sorts of things really add to the diversity of experiences here in Saskatoon. Lots of places to get information on your mobile phone or our website. Uh, so there are, are a lot of variety of things uh, to see and do here. Since 2008, the Dakota Dunes Casino Open has been a mainstay on the Canadian Tour schedule. Dakota Dunes Casino is located on the historical White Cap Dakota First Nation, just 20 minutes south of Saskatoon. Dakota Dunes Casino hosts uh, 570 slot machines, 11 table games. We've got a great multi-purpose room facility that can be used for conventions, entertainment, uh, super restaurant, and of course, some of the best hospitality and customer service you'll find around here. Once again, a strong field of budding golf superstars were looking to ply their trade on the 7,200-yard par 72 Dakota Dunes layout. A total of 156 players began the week, but only 66 managed to hang around after the weekend cut. Conditions at Dakota Dunes were prime for scoring, and a number of players took advantage, including Oshawa, Ontario's Derek Gillespie, who shot a 10-under round of 62 on Saturday. When you're swinging well, you're putting well, you just want to keep making birdies, and that was my thought. Uh, just kind of pebble the metal, um, and, and it was nice. Just to just, you know, because of the couple holes that they're coming in where if you, if you miss a tee ball, you could make a bogey or double. And it's nice to just trust myself and, and, and hit good shots. It all boiled down to Sunday, though, where a total of 13 players were within four shots of the lead. The drama all unfolded on the closing three holes, where Will Strickler, the former PGA Tour member, finished birdie par birdie to post 19 under par. Matt Hill needed birdie on the final hole to clinch his first victory after losing in a playoff last week in Fort McMurray was unable to convert, and a four-hole playoff ensued. After the first three holes were had, Hill's clutch birdie on the fourth hole gave the 23-year-old his first professional victory. This segment of the Canadian Tour Report is brought to you by Tourism Saskatoon. Please visit TourismSaskatoon.com for more information. And follow the Canadian Tour at Cantour.com as it makes its way across Canada to the Canadian Tour Championship the week of August 23rd through 26th at the historic Scarborough Golf Club in Toronto, celebrating its centenary year.